What's up? Wild Bill, Wild Bill fishing. So, got a request. A couple of y'all wondering uh, how to cut up some of these redfish. So, let's get to it. Fish on! Here's a redfish I caught a little earlier. She needs a good cutting board. I got a nice long one here. Get these uh, shot paper towels. They're pretty good for gripping the fish because they're pretty slimy. Need a good fillet knife. It's a bubble blade. I'm not sponsored by none of these guys. They're just a gift and I love this thing. You gotta have a sharp knife, that's for sure, because the scales on these things are crazy. What I like doing is going right behind the gill plate. You can feel where it's soft. Poke in there, get an incision going. Right down to the spine. So you can see the scales on these things are pretty big. Once you do that, poke in right along the spine, run it down its back, following across the spine there, you can feel it. Don't get too crazy with it yet. Sometimes you can pull it up, help yourself out a little bit. All the way down the end. You hear that in there? That's bouncing across the top of the spine there. Just down to the tail. You can pop it over, go on through, finish it up. So slowly follow your knife. Along the bones on the other side, come through. Gotta be careful here on the top. There's some rib bones. Sometimes I'm able to cut them out. Sometimes they stay on there. We can clean them up after the fact. Run down there. Rib bones a little bit. Come back out. Get your scales off. You have a scale on the knife. Check it. Get a little close there, around the top. That's fine. Board keeps spinning on me. There you go. There's the skin. Get rid of that. A little piece here. I got a little close. I'll trim that off. outside too because I got my hose.
go. Rinse it off. I like to have a little bowl of water out here with my fill up the water. Let it soak in there. Keeps the bugs off of it, whatnot, keeps it cool. Spray this off, we'll get you up to that. Side, we're going to do the exact same way. A spot behind this fin, back behind the gills, poke straight down in there, chase it down to the back. All right, once you're in there, get your towel, helps you grip the fish a little bit better. Just work it on down the back. Again, sorry for all these planes. You all know me, you know where I live, can't get away from it. Work it to your hit the bones here. Going over the backbone here in the back. Poked out. Work that all the way down. Zoop. Got that one done. Get those scales off the side of the fish there. All those bones all the way back up. Oh, careful. Careful when you're doing this barefoot like me, you drop your fillet knife on your toes. Said you can use this, but some people cook it with skin on. I like to lay it off of there. Start your knife. Get our uh, water, rinse it off a little bit. Look how white this meat is. Now, I did bleed this fish. I cut the gills on him. So he'd bleed out in the water there before I left. So that always makes the meat a little bit cleaner. A bit of bones there. And them out. So there you have it. One filleted red fish. Beautiful white meat. It'll be good. Okay guys, quick video. How to flay the redfish. Hope y'all enjoyed. See how quick and easy it was. If you ever get one of those that are nice size to 
keep their awesome eating fish. So glad y'all followed along. And if you want to see how to cook one of these, you know, you can uh, click on the video I'll put at the end of this. And then don't forget to like and subscribe. Until next time, Wild Bill out.